Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to do your October love reading here. This is going to be a you and them a relationship, breakup, split, what's going on, the current energy, root cause of the split, so on and so forth. So if you would like to get a personal reading, click the link in the description box below. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And uh, keep in mind that these energies are general okay so it may or may not resonate for you all right capricorn let's take a look here capricorn sun moon rising or venus what is this relationship's current energy at this time capricorn sun moon rising or venus okay hmm. all right queen of pentacles so the relationship is not much emotion going on, okay? I feel like someone's a bit stoic, or the energy of the connection is stoic. No one's really saying anything. Um, you know, but again, the green, like I say, the green represents the heart chakra, symbolizes love, health, compassion, and nurturing nature, abundance, okay? So there is an element here of I, I hate to say like there's a refresher happening here. I don't hate to say that, but I don't know if, if you and another person are like taking a time out after this breakup to kind of refresh, do a reset is what I feel like is happening here. Let me just get a clarifying card. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Knight of Wands. So I do get a sense also that there was a lot of hot passion between you and another person. And it's like, okay, now we get to cool off. There's this little bit of like taking a breather, getting a breather, okay? Um, going back to work, um, getting more stable. It just feels like maybe you were connecting with another earth sign or a fire sign. Um, but yeah, this, this, the, the current energy at this time is like two people who can't stop thinking about each other, but in the physical passionate realm okay um even though there's a split this energy is still playing out let me see what is the root cause why this relationship ended what happened okay yeah temporary separation uh somebody here it looks like like i was saying took a breather uh retreated um withdrew either withdrew their emotions or withdrew um, the energy, pulled back. It, it feels like a pulled back. But yet, at the same time, currently, it's like that passion, the drive, um, the, the, the lust, I might go as far to say, is still there. It is absolutely still there. And it feels like they have it for you, you have it for them, okay? Um, and I feel like somebody or both of you or some situation happened because the Eight of Cups can be a card of, of withdrawal. And I feel like this is kind of like, okay, just taking a step back. Now let's see, what is this person's? What are their true feelings for you right now, Capricorn? Their true feelings, okay. So I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Um, I see them either writing texts, not sending them, or trying to put together what their thoughts are, gather their thoughts at this time. I feel like um, they're sitting at their desk. Um, they might be journaling or, or sorting things out about how they feel. And for others, it's like they want, I just feel like someone is uh, crafting a message. This person is, is crafting a message that's not just a very basic message. This has more to do with um, how good you guys were together. I feel like somebody wants to say this to you, uh, that they feel, or they're writing this down or trying to, they're not sending it yet, but putting their, their thoughts and their feelings into paper, how, how much you guys were actually very, very good together. Like there was true quality in this relationship. That three always represents to me communication, trinity, harmony, union. Okay, this person 
if you ended it with them, I feel like this person, it's not something that they wanted. Um, if you ended it with them because they weren't expressing themselves or putting or, you know, making any moves towards this relationship to progress it, it seems like the separation is truly making someone come to terms with how they feel. Okay. Um, so let me see, okay, what their intentions are towards you right now. Okay. <laughs> Right now, they're putting on a mask of deception, okay? They don't want you to know right now how they feel. Their intentions towards you are basically to keep their distance, sneak away, okay? Uh, run away. Um, it feels like this person's intentions also is to just sit with themselves and think their thoughts about you it's it's almost like um like i said a reset taking this reset so that seven of swords energy is kind of like uh, they may have blocked you also and their intentions if they haven't their intentions are to uh, it feels like a, a very strong withdrawal and retreat to get clarity put their thoughts down on paper about how they truly feel about you i don't feel like their intentions are to deceive you um, in any negative way. It just feels more like to not let you know how they're feeling at this time on purpose until they, you know, come to terms and they really get it all out there. So they, because I don't feel like this person really understands how they feel about you. And you may not understand. And the reason you don't is because they're not sure. And it seems like they're getting themselves in a position to, to gain clarity about, you know, is it more than just a physical thing? Okay, um, I do feel like that the physical thing is definitely there and it's strong. Okay, so let's take a look here. What is the future nature of this relationship? All right, <laughs> Ace of Wands. So, I mean, this person, they can't resist their physical attraction to you, Capricorn. You know, and I feel like there's, they're going to initiate, there's going to be a start up again with, from this person. Yeah. A definitely a new beginning. Um, I feel like this person has really strong urges, physical urges for you, and they can't resist that, okay? But at the same time, I think it's positive that they're sorting out their feelings, okay? Um, I feel like that's really important for you, at least. And I feel like future-wise, going forward, there's going to be um, a restart, in this connection, a restart, a new beginning here, okay? Um, let me see. Now, what is the best step here for you to take at this time, Capricorn? What is the best step? What's the best action that you can arrive at? What would be the best decision, the best choice to go forward for yourself, okay? Well, the Knight of Swords gives me a sense of... Um, Keep moving forward in your life and make some kind of lifestyle change. I feel like you're on some kind of path where you're making changes in your life. And Spirit is saying to you that you should keep doing that. You should keep pursuing because this person, I do feel, has some things they need to sort out for themselves. Leave them be. Let them figure out. Um, you don't want someone to come in or come back into your life who's still unsure. So you take a step back and go after your goals. Go after what it is you want and what changes you're making in your lifestyle. Keep progressing forward in that way for yourself. All right, Capricorn. So this is for the month of October. If you're on that path, that's excellent. Keep doing that. I do feel like this person, like I said, is going to try to reinitiate but there's going to be like this overcoming some conflicts feeling inspired and wanting to start this connection again like on a better footing okay all right crap capricorn i almost said capricorn i hope you enjoyed that i hope that was informative enough for you and again if you want to get a personal reading from me you can there's a link in the description box below click that link and that will take you right to my booking website 
And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on the way out. And I will see you guys in November. <laughs>